Hey everyone, how you doing? So here's an interesting small project. A DIY motor driver made by using a few transistor and MOSFET to drive a couple of small micro gear DC motor that operate at a voltage less than 5V. The end goal of this project is to use this DIY edge bridge motor driver to prepare a small micro robot. In this video, you will learn about how this motor driver works and how we can construct a simple edge bridge circuit for making our own motor driving IC. So let's get started. Usually for driving motors, we tend to use common drivers like L293D 3 d or its higher version L298N which are both H-bridge based motor driver that have two channels or two motor outputs. L293D 3 d can handle peak current up to 1 ampere and L298N can handle up to 4 ampere. However, both of these motor drivers are for operation of motors from 4.5 volt to 40 volt which is ideal for bigger motors like 12 volt gear DC motor or 24 volt planetary motors but what if we have a smaller motor variant that required a voltage less than 5 volt. I am preparing a small robot that is powered by a 3.7 volt lithium ion cell which is connected to a boost module that outputs stable 5 volt for motor to run. But here's the problem, if we increase the voltage through the boost module the battery backup will decrease. So we have to prepare a 5V operational DC motor driving system. L293D can work with 5V but it's not ideal. So instead of using that we can make our own edge bridge and a better L293D like setup that can run any motor even if the motor is rated for low voltage. You can check out L293D data sheet for more detail spec link is in video description. H-Bridge is a unique circuit that can switch the polarity of voltage applied to any load. It's generally used with motors for changing their rotation from backward to forward and can be made out of switches. This is the H-Bridge that we are using currently and it comprises of FETs connected in an H configuration. This circuit is made in such a way that the N-channel MOSFET or NPN transistor can both be used here. Let me explain how. Both the N-channel MOSFET and NPN transistor direction is the same. Their current usage and internal composition are different but their working is similar. MOSFET are voltage control devices and transistor are current control devices but both can operate by applying a signal to the gate or the base of the FET. Here's how this H-bridge works. Four FETs are connected in such a way that the first two FETs which are Q1 and Q2 drain is connected to VCC or power source that will drive the motor. Source of Q1 and Q2 are both connected to the positive and negative of the motor. Two more FETs Q3 and Q4 drains are connected with the source of Q1 and Q2 along with the motor terminal. The source of Q3 and Q4 are connected with the ground. Gate of Q1 and Q4 are connected together and the gate of Q2 and Q3 are connected together. If we applied a signal to Q1, Q4 will also get activated and if the signal is applied to Q2, Q3 will get activated. 1 and 0 will be denoted for high and low. We set gate of Q1 to 1 and the Q2 to 0. This turns the motor in one direction. If we set gate of Q1 to 0 and Q2 to 1, the polarity of motor changes and it start rotating in the opposite direction. If both Q1 and Q2 are 1, then short circuit will occur. This is how the H-bridge works. Now let's see the practical example of this setup. So here's the practical version of this H-bridge circuit that is made from 4 BC547 NPN transistor and a few resistor. 400 ohms resistor were also connected in parallel with VCC side to limit the current flowing through the motor. This circuit does look janky but it works. As for the wiring, we need to connect 5V of Arduino to the VCC of MOSFET PCB, ground to ground, D2 to gate 1 and D3 to gate 2. Here's the main code and it's quite simple. These are two pins that are set as output. In the demo1 function, we set 
I in high and I in too low. This will turn the motor in one direction. After a delay of one second, I in one is set low and I in two is set at high and this reverses the polarity of the motor. After this, both I in one and I in two are set to low for one second. In the loop section, the demo one is executed for continuous working. Here's the result and as you can see the motor is working in both directions. It moves in one direction for a second and then changes its direction and then pause for a moment. This happens in a loop all and all over again. We connect a multimeter in series with the seed module to measure the current consumption of the whole system. The idle current is below 60 mA but it get higher up to 140 mA if we try to stop the rotation by hand. Doing this is like replicating down the drag of the weight where this motor is being mounted. 140 mA is what we are getting through the BC547 transistor setup, which is really low and not usable for the robot project. For powering this setup, I am using a previously made project which was the seed groove module. It's a power module that is based around the IP5306 power management IC which boosts 3.7 volt of lithium ion cell to stable 5 volt 2 ampere output which is perfect for powering Arduino setup with a 5 volt motor driver load. This module was originally made as a power hat for Raspberry Pi but in this case we use it to power this setup. Next we try the same setup but with a MOSFET this time. AO3400 N channel MOSFET was used to construct an edge bridge setup by following this circuit. This version is better than the transistor edge bridge in many ways. A most prominent one is the higher current output, meaning the motor can draw more current than the previous setup. As for wiring, we follow the same wiring as done before with the transistor setup but this time we add MOSFET setup with the Arduino on the same breadboard by putting the VCC of H bridge to 5V, ground to ground, gate pins are connected with D11 and D12. Here's the result of the MOSFET based H bridge setup and its work. 250mA seems to be maximum current taken by the motor at 5V which is plenty for low power mini robot. Overall results seem promising and I have already prepared two boards with this edge bridge setup. One is the minimal edge bridge which is similar to the perf board janky setup and another one is a working robot motor driver that contains two bridges for controlling two motors. This driver will be controlled by an ESP12F board and I will make a separate video about this topic so stay tuned for that. This is it for today folks, if this video was helpful then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time, peace out.